drive-by on it. <laughs> 500 cc's of big bore four-stroke balanced bumper. This thing is the definition of effortless wheelies. You can. This thing will do 92 miles an hour with a stock gear. It can easily be geared to do over 100, and it is just fast, fun, smooth, and traditional Honda quality, which means basically bulletproof. These things are notorious for winning the Baja 1000, multiple time off-road national championships, AMA championships on the, this motor, or one very similar to it, the XR600. Just an amazing piece. This one here has never been abused off-road, amazingly enough, it's got the original odometer showing 5,900 miles on it, the original headlight. Uh, it appears to me to be all original, except for the upgrade to the nice, beautiful set of $400 top of the line, upside down progressive shock. So it's super, super smooth. I'll go over the details in a minute, but let me enjoy this riding demo just for another moment, man. This is one I don't want to get off of. an hour with just two two inch patches of rubber touching the dirt is like being in a powerboat it's um it's kind of like a powerboat going 100 miles an hour in a powerboat feels completely insane and it, it feels you may be doing 80 90 it feels like you're doing 180 or 190 it's just a total different perception of speed especially if it's in the woods just an absolute blast This motorcycle is also awesome at doing another trick, going very, very slow with his torquey single cylinder four stroke. He can crawl up cow trails, up mountains, and it'll roar, roar, roar. You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, it'll roar, it'll roar, 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 and it'll rip your house right off the damn foundation. <laughs> Junior and I are uniquely blessed that we've got over 300 motorcycles we can ride here at the museum. He's riding a KLR 650 on it for his enduro bike. I'm riding my XR or my KLR. Something about a single cylinder big bore bumper. They hang effortless wheelies. They're bulletproof. They're easy to work on. They're affordable. You don't feel like well, you're not on a $15,000 bike. You know you can buy these affordably. And if you buy a classic like this, it's an investment. It's only going up in value. Let's go inside and I'll go over the work order, tell you what we've done to it. It's This one's turnkey, ready to go, man. Buy with assurance. It's a quality piece. possibly be one of the most fun motorcycle engines ever made and certainly one of the most reliable you meet you meet the happiest people on Honda come on up front we'll look over what's been done in this beauty guys I've gone over it 100 times with you before. If you're new to the channel, these are the things you look for on a, on a pre-owned, on off-road bike or a dirt bike. Handlebars, these are brand new handlebars, brand new grips, and the levers are, uh, I believe the originals, but they look like brand new. Has the, intact, the uh, speedometer and odometer with the big knobs on it to reset it intact. The original headlight, 
the original gas tank and paint is in excellent shape as is the rest of the running gear including the original side panels this is look at how nice this is obviously a bike that wasn't raced because if you raced it off road your boots would rub that off in short order this bike is mechanically stock. It has the original exhaust system, original intake carburetor, has a brand new air filter, just been serviced. Take a look at these shocks. These are the top of the line progressive shocks. You've got about, I'm gonna say about 11 inches travel on the rear and probably 10 on the front. Very well dampened, super smooth for riding wheelies over bumpy surfaces as I just, just uh, uh, demonstrated. Um, this bike has the original front tire on it, okay? This is um, indicating it's got a very, very low hour motorcycle. It's just been completely serviced by the pros here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Uh, again, this is a XR500, which is actually 497 cc's air cool. Compression ratio is 8.6 to one. Has a single 34 millimeter key and carburetor. Has a uh, CDI ignition, no points. So let's start with the motor. Again, 497 cc, a four stroke power. A uh, product of its big bore short stroke. 89 millimeter by 80 millimeter dimensions. A freer breathing overhead cam four valve pen proof head with centralized spark plug provides excellent combustion. And the power comes from the hot sparking, maintenance free capacitor discharge ignition, no points. Together these impressive components help this engine deliver more power than any other production four stroke single had ever made in the history of motorcycling up to when Honda made this. 35.4 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. Bulletproof under stress. This is the bike for the guy who will settle for nothing less than the most powerful, technically advanced four-stroke enduro machine that you could get from that era. If you're going to do any vintage riding or you're looking for classic to invest in, this is the bike to have. There's, there's nothing better. Uh, it's a high-performance enduro-ready four-stroke. Take it to the AHA MRA events. Benefits from Honda's total concept engineering, ensuring that all parts work in harmony to deliver efficiency as well as fun. The speedometer, again, has a huge trip meter. So um, five-speed transmission, chain drive. 37 millimeter shower forks, 8.8 .8 inches of front wheel travel. The rear wheel's probably around the same, nine or so with these long travel shocks, maybe 10. Uh, drum brakes, super reliable, and they work great. Now these are have been serviced, so they don't need anything. If you had a, a disc brake bike of this era, it would certainly need servicing for sure um, in parts. So ground clearance is a, a generous 11 inches, 271 pounds, which is uh, pretty light for a big bore 650 and a 3.1 gallon gas tank. Again, the top speed out of the box is 92 miles an hour with a little bit of changing uh, of, just change the counter shaft sprocket, you can get this thing to go damn near close to 100. So um, it's a quarter lighter machine. It has a five uh, a main shaft mounted engine counterbalancer. It's a key to the bike's entire design to make it vibration free and uh, consequently it lowers the stress to allow the, 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 the use of more delicate engine and frame components since excess weight is not any significance. So uh, anyway, regardless of Honda's intentions in designing the balancer system, it has these real life results. First, the balancers genuine, genuinely reduce the low, low frequency thumping. It's just not irritating like on a TT500 or a DR370. So you've got the headlight number plate combination, 23 inch front wheel, a lightweight aluminum alloy conical hubs, magnesium alloy brake backing parts, and of course the kick-ass motor. So you have folding shift lever and brake pedal tips, five speed transmission. This one, uh, the other one that we have listed doesn't have the original um, engine, uh, rugged alloy skill plate, skid plate. Show them the skid plate on it, Kenny. It's not, I don't, there's no dents in it. It doesn't look like it was ever taken off road. The, the skid plate looks brand new. There's, a, there's proof the thing's got no miles on it off road. Also dual count counterbalancers on this motor. Um, this, one, this one has, the, as I said earlier, the headlight, the, the skid plate, and the speedometer that the other one that we have doesn't have. So um, the other one's got the high compression wide scope piston. So if you're gonna off-road race it, I would say get the other one. If you're looking for one that's closer to original, buy this one, they both have their advantages. So um, this is the machine that I'll, all the other guys that are racing the AHMR racing, if, they're, if you're in the four stroke, if you're racing against other vintage four strokes, they're gonna think you got a shortcut because this thing, you can ride this fast all day long, no vibration, just super smooth. So let's go over the work order. Uh, Junior will focus on the bike and I'll, lead, uh, I'll read off the list here. A total of six and a half hours in a detail shop and only four hours in the service shop. It didn't need that much. Uh, the service department did it to steam, give it the steam cleaning and hand wash. The frame side rails, as you can see, were touched up a little bit, so there's no missing paint there. High temp sil silver was on, put on the cylinder head. Um, they cleaned in Scotch-Brite and rubbed the, uh, all the uh, aluminum, polished the front forks, 
the hubs were touched up, the exhaust was painted, the original flat black, and the exhaust heat protector was the semi-gloss. The engine paint covers are painted the silver. Um, just top to bottom, full rotisserie detail, a steam clean top to bottom. So it's almost a full day in the detail shop with Doc and the boys. The service department, uh, they, let's see, they put a new spark plug in it, changed the oil, put a brand new chain on it, put a rebuilt the carburetor, put a new uh, carburetor o-ring, bowl o-ring in it, uh, put a new air cutoff valve in it, uh, new fuel lines, a new inline fuel filter, rinsed out the gas tank and put BP-110, non-ethanol fuel in the bike, um, did the oil service, uh, adjusted the valves on it, fully rebuilt the carb, uh, and that's about it. Dialed it in, tuned it in, and it runs like a, I can't, I, hey guys, I can't imagine this thing ran any better the day it came off the lot. It's that good, all right? And it's 40 years old. It's, it's an antique. So to find an antique enduro bike, especially a Honda XR500, the holy grail of XRs in that era. There's, you know, I like riding the XR75s, the 100s. I just bought an XR100 for my kids in uh, XR200s, th 350s. 400s, but there's something about a 500, the big board. You're not going to hang wheelies from zero to 50, 60 miles an hour on a 250 unless you're Doug Demokis. This thing, you could be an average rider. It makes you a hero. Just an awesome piece. Um, I think I pretty much covered everything. It has the original, look at the back rim here, Kenny. The original DID sticker is still intact on the rim. The original spokes, the original rims are in excellent condition. There's no damage to the rims, no dents or dings as the original front tire. The original fork boots, the fork lowers are, are polished beautifully. There's no damage on the fork lowers anywhere. The triple, None of the bolts are stripped off. It's a beautiful bike, folks. Um, it's got a, a couple little dings in the gas tank, but this is an original paint tank. You could have the tank repaired and refinished for about 400 bucks if you wanted to make it look brand new. I say ride it like it is, only original once. So beautiful piece. Made my day. I had the best job in the world, man. Uh, bike's perfect. Ready for a new home. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America.